What conspiracy theory do you completely believe is true? A lot of entertainment companies are money laundering fronts. Not a specific theory, but I have no doubt that the majority of leaks for the entertainment industry, video games, movies, TV, etc., are completely purposeful and meant to gauge general opinions before official announcements. Edit, spelling. Thanks for my first ever awards. The government constantly reposts this question to see what we know. The Big Mac has gotten smaller so McDonald's saves some money, I dunno, but I swear the Big Mac used to be bigger, or maybe I am just fatter. College Board isn't non-profit. The Department of Transportation bought way too many orange barrels, so most of them have to be stored on highways. Maybe not Tupac, but at least one celebrity has faked their death and is still out there. Ancestry DNA and the rest of those ancestry websites are run by the government to have access to people's DNA to cross-reference crimes etc. That the CIA lets JFK get assassinated. It sounds crazy, but I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that the earth just might be spherical after all. The CIA is responsible for the crack epidemic. Shelley Miscavige is either dead or being held prison by the Church of Scientology. This is the smallest conspiracy ever, but, you know how when you pull a tissue out of a box, there's this dust that comes out from the tissue and it scrapes the perforated edge? I swear it's designed like that so that the dust makes you sneeze, and then suddenly you need more tissues. Rise up against big tissue. Capital J. Edgar Hoover had ties to the mob and gave preferential treatment to certain crime families organizations while crushing others. Also, his stranglehold on American intelligence made him a figure presidents feared. The government was behind Throwback Thursday in order to get us to digitize and upload pictures that they would not have had access to in order to help improve age progression facial recognition algorithms. I still to this day believe that for every sock that goes missing in your dryer it turns into a Tupperware lid in your cabinet that fits nothing. I have seen no evidence to disprove this. Automobile and oil companies have been working to impede or high developments in renewable energy solutions. That there's no brilliant people working behind the scenes. Our government and world leaders are full of bored people of moderate intelligence. Coasting and growing off of years of structure already in place. Edit. OMG you guys I got multiple awards for the first time tism. The US military is a huge lobbyist behind is not adopting socialized healthcare and college because those are the two main reasons that people join the military. With socialized healthcare and college, recruit numbers would plummet. And we would no longer be the military powerhouse that we currently are. Reddit is run by a single college student that has no clue how to make a search bar. I believe conspiracy theories are the ultimate conspiracy. They send the message that there is some invisible hand controlling things. Meaning there's nothing you can do to change it. They instill complacency. As somebody who works for the government, some of y'all grossly overestimate the government's competence and secret keeping abilities. Britney is the highest profile Disney abuse victim we might probably ever know about. Her mental breaks were the result of sexual and physical abuse from her handlers, her parents, and people she worked with at Disney. The conservatorship she's been trying to get lifted is one designed to keep her silent, because the momentum of the Me Too movement as well as the high profile cases against Hollywood folks will result in a huge financial hit to Disney. If we hear that Britney couldn't take it anymore and killed herself. It's most likely the result of everyone in her life trying to control and manipulate her, and they will likely kill her under guise of suicide. Just a casual fan of this one but that Christopher Walken knows whether Natalie Wood's death was an accident or not. The government doesn't want you to know but ducks are free, you can just take them. Well. The government is listening to everyone's phone calls and reading our emails was once considered a conspiracy theory, and we all know how that turned out. The government is spying on us. The Patriot Act is terrible, and somebody is most likely watching me right now. Dato. Wait. I forgot. That one was already proven. Conspiracy theories seem to pale in their outlandishness when compared to actual history. 
the Lost Cosmonauts. I think it's absolutely possible that there were attempts by the CCCP to launch manned aircraft into space before Gagarin and that some of the cosmonauts died. I'm pretty sure the US government knows things about UFOs that they aren't telling us. That's not to say I believe UFOs are alien spacecraft. I don't know what they are. Social media companies are manipulating people to or supporting the candidate of their choice. Whether it's Biden or Trump. I honestly can't say, it seems like they'd hate Trump. But he's wonderful at driving social media activity. But we do know, Facebook has a history of manipulating users' emotions. Donald Trump did not want to be president. He just wanted publicity and to itch about politics without actually having to do something about it. Tommy Wiseau is DB. Cooper. For those of you who don't know DB, Cooper is a famous American thief. Aboard a plane flying from Seattle, Washington to Mexico City, before the plane was over Reno, Nevada, DB Cooper robbed everyone on the plane, took all of the parachutes and jumped put of the plane, and was never seen again. Nobody knew his name, and he spoke with a strange accent. Tommy Wiseau showed up seemingly randomly, with a ton of money, has been said to be older than he says he is, and speaks with a strange accent. At one point people found a ton of money which was said to be DBS ransom money or stash. And the guy they were investigating didn't look much like him. And the evidence was never convulsive and the whole attempt was some history channel bullet. Tommy Wiseau however fits the bill. High end art is a scheme to launder money and avoid taxes. Calling healthcare workers heroes is a deliberate ploy by the powers that be. So that at the of all is covered it and there is a pile of us dead. The conversation isn't about how the government and hospitals fucked up. But our heroic sacrifice. Fort Knox has no gold in it. Mattress stores are just money laundering fronts. This one pertains to my university. But some people may have the same experiences with theirs. So students who choose my university send applications in by December. The entire COVID shutdown happens in March. Around the same time university acceptances are starting to be sent out. Each first year student has guaranteed residence. Everyone is wondering what the new teaching model will be. And it's announced that it's mixed. 30% in person. 70% online. At this point, if you're in first year, and all your courses are online, why pay for residence? You can do class online. But the university sees these discussions. And no they'll lose a lot of money if they don't have students in residence. So what is announced? Almost every first year has at least one person class. Meaning, they have to be on campus. Meaning, they have to live in residence. I dk if this makes sense to anyone but I thought it was interesting. The American government wants to keep us poorly educated and unhealthy. Just enough to be too busy to stand up for ourselves. The Hawaii Falls missile alert was an experiment in how mass people would react knowing they're about to die. Conversely that we're all about to die and all this political it show Malachi is a distraction. But I'm also schizophrenic so give it a minute before I start thinking the walls are pissed off at me or some it. That Britney Spears is either being held hostage or otherwise in a very compromised situation. The reason Disney came out with a movie called Frozen was so that when you google Disney Frozen you would get search results about the movie and not about Walt Disney's body supposedly being cryogenically frozen. Nintendo isn't accidentally leaking source codes. They want to see how much interest their flagship franchises get. And from there they decide which games to push. Pokemon Gold version's lost beta demo from Spasua World 97 is found in People Lose Their Minds. Huge push for Pokemon and stoking the flames of the rumored, now confirmed, Pokemon Diamond Peel Platinum remakes. Super Mario 64 gets the iceberg and the source code leaked. People lose their damn minds. Suddenly they're releasing Super Mario 3D All-Stars with Super Mario 64 on it. Something is going on with Brian Singer. He's been accused of sexual assault multiple times in the past few decades but nothing ever came of it. Guy was hosting parties with young men, potentially underage boys, and people like Kevin Spacey, and has been accused of molesting children. I'm not one for conspiracies but he clearly has friends in high places that went to these parties and keep giving him work and burying the allegations when they come up. 
or he has dirt on them. Seems like more people are finally talking about how it he is but I never understood why these stories didn't get more attention. Erdogan has manipulated the renegade part of his army to reveal themselves. In my home city, in the UK, a heroin dealer was convicted of lacing his product with poison and causing the deaths of homeless people. In court he claimed that the local council paid him off to get rid of some of the homeless people in that way. His defense was why would I kill my customers. I have met one person that worked with the council and believes the story to be true. And years later I met some people that had worked with a homeless charity at the time. They claimed they knew it was the case but there was nothing they could do to prove it expose it. The UFO footage that just got released recently was a purposeful distraction from current events. Not completely, but that whole humanity resets every 7000 years due to some big chance do be looking believable as of now. I don't think 9 stroke 11 was caused by the US government, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was allowed to happen. JFK was probably assassinated because he refused to go through with Operation Northwoods. My school is encouraging students to do the self-administered covered test, knowing most students will probably do it wrong so they can inflate their negative test results. More healthy students on campus means more revenue from on campus housing, meal plans, and other service fees. I'm 95% certain Monty Python and the Holy Grail is not historically accurate, and that medieval knights didn't go about banging coconut halves together to make horse riding sounds. The biggest companies in the world own the government, not the other way around. Saudi Aramco for example. That most popular conspiracy theories are propagated by large corporations to distract us from actual problems. Carol Baskin didn't kill her husband. I believe he was heavily involved with drugs and that's the reason why everything he touched turned to gold. I think he flew drugs over to Mexico and it all went wrong and never made it back. That there is a circle of cultural terrorists that whisper conspiracy theories to some gullible people and are the origin of most conspiracy theories that go around sowing mistrust between factions. The official story and the deaths of JFK Princess Diana and Jeffrey Epstein are lies. A lot of rich people help terrorism and movements to destabilize a nation or a region to make money from its resources or people. I remember when conspiracy theories were confined to obscure, late night radio shows like Art Bell. They were interesting and fun but never really intersected with real life too much. Since 9 stroke 11 and the rise of social media there are conspiracy theories about everything and they are having an increasing influence on politics everyday life. In fact a lot of them are actively promoted to have just such an affect. I was on the fence about this one until I watched the last narc but now I absolutely believe the theory about the CIA being responsible for the death of D-agent Kiki Camarina. His death in 1985 helped spark the war on drugs because he was allegedly murdered by Mexican drug traffickers and the DFS, which was a largely corrupt police force at the time. However some people think the CIA actually murdered him, or at least helped the drug cartel kidnap him. There are multiple witnesses who were there during his murder who place a CIA agent there. Motive would have been because Agent Camarena was close to uncovering the Iran Contra affair, or something similar involving the CIA using drug money to fund arms sales. The evidence presented in the doc is pretty damning and I was fully expecting someone to have discredited the witnesses or called out shoddy research or something after it came out, because it's just so wild. But so far everything presented seems on the up and up. My cheese is secretly spying on me for the French government. Drug companies could easily get male birth control to market. That the Sonic original design was to get people to complain about it and get it popular. Everyone I tell about this tells me I'm overreacting and it's just a conspiracy. But I strongly believe large companies who use eco-friendly products around customers only do it to make themselves look good. And to make the customer feel like pollution is their fault when they use for example, plastic straws. When in reality using eco-friendly straws barely dents the amount of pollution the company itself makes behind the scenes. Bill didn't cheat on Hillary. They have an open marriage where they can do what they want whilst traveling around for work. 
reason for the infidelity lie, it's easier for the American population to accept a president making a mistake in fidelity than to accept a swinging president first lady. I am still to this day skeptical that a low level hood like Jack Ruby, a man with ties to organized crime, and at a time when J. Edgar Hoover was giving no attention to organized crime, that Ruby, owner of a strip club, would be so incensed over the shooting of JFK, would be motivated above all others to assassinate Lee Harvey Oswald. It defies any logic. The Rebecca Black song Friday is about the JFK assassination. The driver of the car he was assassinated in's name was Samuel Kickin, Kickin in the front seat, sitting in the back seat. The assassination occurred on a Friday and when he was shot the Secret Service yelled at Jackie Kennedy to get down, got to get down on Friday. Parts about the Cold War and the spread of communism are referenced, everybody's Russian, and to top it all off, in the hotel that morning JFK declined a breakfast of sausage, eggs and toast for a bowl of bran flakes instead, got to have my bolosaga to have cereal. Also, the following Monday JFK was supposed to sign a bill into law requiring all public schools to provide bus transportation for their students, got to catch my bus. Computer virus protection companies create computer viruses. The US and other world leaders aren't some genius masterminds, with infinite knowledge, resources, and information, but are a bunch of people in way over their heads barely keeping their it together, with one trip away from ducking everything up. Personally this terrifies me more than if they were evil masterminds. At least those are in control. The third shot that hit JFK was fired by a secret service member, but, it was entirely an accident, the motorcade surrounding him was full of secret service, some were standing up on the seats, when the first shot was fired, they were all on high alert, fingers on the trigger, looking around, the drivers all hit the brakes, a guy standing up in the back lurched forward and pulled the trigger by accident, this shot hit the president. He had already been hit twice and was pretty much toast, so it didn't matter, but they covered it up. I like it as a conspiracy theory because it reduces such an important mystery to a pure human accident, which is what a lot of historical events are. Fidel Castro was Canadian PM Justin Trudeau's biological father. The resemblance is uncanny. Justin looks nothing like his supposed real father. The two families were chummy and the Trudeaus had an open relationship. Trudeau's mom really got around, and there were visits to Cuba, etc, a whole lot of smoke. When I was in my teens, that Tupac was alive and would come back for an album, I want to say it was the theory of 7s or something, I'm a bit more critical of what I read now. We're all puppets and social media and news corporations are the puppet masters. Watch The Social Dilemma on Netflix if you're curious. I'm seriously freighted at the lack of control that we have and that I have when it comes to social media. However bad you think it is, it's probably worse. While Lee Harvey Oswald did shoot and hit JFK twice, the final killing shot came from the Secret Service vehicle directly behind the President's vehicle. By accident. The agent carrying the Secret Service's one and only AR-15 at the time stood up when JFK was shot the first two times, and was thrown back in his seat when the car lurched forward, causing him to accidentally shoot the president in the back of the head. That the Prime Minister of Canada Justin Trudeau is the son of Fidel Castro. His mother Margaret Trudeau was known for fooling around and his dad Pierre Trudeau was good friends with Fidel Castro. Justin and Fidel also look alike. Most of the conspiracies around it are likely bullet, but there's no way in hell we know all the details of 9 stroke 11. That flight 93 was shot down by the US military on 9 stroke 11. If you know that two hijacked planes were flown into the WTC and one into the Pentagon, and that a fourth hijacked plane is headed for the White House dart you take it down, period. If you can take it down over a rural area, all the more better which it was. I think they took the best option in a worst case scenario and made the passengers out to be heroes. And rightfully so, because the people on that plane were already heroes to somebody in their lives. IDK if it counts as a conspiracy theory but I like to think the multiverse theory is true. Snapchat is partnered with Apple to make Android cameras look city. 
Going into the 1988 Republican National Convention there was much speculation as to who George H.W. Bush would choose as his running mate. Prognosticators had as many as 30 realistic names on their list. Bush chose obscure Indiana Senator Dan Quayle, who quickly made himself known as one of the dimmer bulbs in D.C. The CT is that Bush, being neck deep in the Iran-Contra scandal, wanted someone far too stupid to ever be allowed into the presidency, thus protecting himself from possible impeachment. Granted, the 21st century has allowed complete morons into the Oval Office, but the Cold War was a completely different and dangerous time. OJ. Simpson didn't do it, it was Jason Simpson, the LAPD, was so convinced that they had their man that they tried to make the evidence fit the suspect rather than allowing the evidence to lead them to a suspect, OJ, didn't do it, Nicole Brown was nearly decapitated and Ron Goldman was stabbed 20 plus times, the prosecution claimed the injuries were consistent with two knives being used and produced a stiletto knife good for stabbing but not cutting and a swiss army knife not really good for hurting anyone other than yourself. Ron Goldman had numerous defensive wounds and the injuries to his hands indicated that he had landed numerous blows yet OJ had only a small cut on his hand with no other evidence of having been in a fight. The only evidence found in OJ's home were a few drops of his own blood which were contaminated with a preservative used in blood draws. Jason did it, means. Jason was employed as a sous chef and had his own knife set and also owned a double-edged combat knife. Motive. Jason was cooking alone at his restaurant that night and had specifically invited Nicole to come see him cook. She stood him up and went to Metzaluna where Ron Goldman worked. Jason was known to be bothered by Nicole seeing men other than his father. Opportunity. Jason's time card that night was handwritten for a time much later than when the restaurant shut down. His alibi changed multiple times. But the last time anyone can definitely account for him is around 9.30 that night. The kicker? The day after the murders. OJ. Retained one of LA's top criminal defense attorneys for Jason and did not hire his own defense attorney until several days later. College tuition keeps going up to ensure poor people continue enlisting in the military. That most conspiracy theories are invented or at least perpetuated by the government so people will disregard the real ones. That J.R.R. Tolkien actually wrote Beowulf in Old English and then translated it into Modern English just for its and giggles. Can't remember where I heard this, but I've 100% believed it since I did. Before you say that it's impossible and too crazy. Let me remind you, Tolkien wrote a language. Created a fictional universe for this language with dozens of wars and kingdoms. Eight more languages. Several unique species and gods. And hundreds of developed characters. Then wrote a children's book within this fictional universe. If anyone was crazy enough to do it, it was him. My girlfriend and her dad both completely believe in Bigfoot. The anti-plastic straw movement is an attempt by corporations to shirk a reduction in plastic consumption on consumers, thus creating an artificial demand for straw alternatives. The world ended in 2012 and we are all in a simulation that keeps increasing in difficulty. That these are posted for Youtubers to make videos from. Classically Abby, Ben Sharpie's sister, is funded by YouTube because I always see her ads. There are big chapters of human history missing because of past cataclysms that destroyed said civilization. There's already discovered structures like Gobekli Tepe, dated to be around 12,000 years ago, before even things like pottery, yet featuring 20 tons plus 20 foot tall columns with detailed sculptures and geometric precision. I think many sites like the pyramids might also be older than we think.